In this exercise, you will build a timeline using the tutorial footage. We will use two different ways to add clips to the timeline, starting with drag and drop, then using the editing operators. Choose the following editing settings. Enable ripple end. Set the snap mode to snap closest. With this option, Clips drop in the timeline will snap to the edges of nearby clips. Start by dragging a first clip to the record area. The first clip you put in the record area determines the final resolution and frame rate of the timeline. Click on the View tab of the Editing folder to display its content. Also expand the Editing folder. Select the first clip 01 Entrance Front. Under the Source Area Layout, choose the Source Record Player. Make sure the clip is at the first frame in the Source Player. Hold down the C key to be in Copy Mode and drag the clip from the Source Folder to the Record Area. From the Record Area Layout, Choose the Record Timeline Display. This is your new timeline. A new record clip appeared in the record player. Let's drag more clips to the timeline. Select the second clip, Entrance Flare, from the Source folder. Make sure this clip is at frame 1. The frame position determines the default endpoint of a clip when dragged in the timeline. Hold down C and drag the second clip to the timeline just after the first shot. Press the Home button to frame the entire timeline. Now select the clip number 3, Sandals Left. Again, keep in mind that the frame position is your implicit endpoint so make sure you are at frame 1 in the source player. Hold down C and drag the shot at the end of the timeline. In the next step of this exercise, we'll use the editing operators to finalize this timeline.